What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. This is my cousin, Sela. She has never done acrylic pouring before and I thought it would be a really cool thing to have her come on over. She wants a commission piece, but we're gonna make her paint her own commission piece. Yes. In emerald green, we have iridescent fine gold from Golden and then a titanium white from Golden. None of these colors are mixed with any silicone at all. They just have two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And with that, we're just gonna get started. So I've already kind of given her an idea of like how to do this just so she can understand it a little bit better. So we'll start with the base coat. <laughs> so you just pour a puddle right there in the middle. The whole thing or just the whole thing. thing. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if it goes all over the place. Just dump it all out on the canvas, big old puddle. So this is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. It's sitting on my spinner, so it's also sitting on another canvas just to kind of keep it there. All right, so the base coat's down. And now we're gonna start layering the cup. And if you want, you can just layer it up here. Okay. And it's just small layers. Yeah, I'll let you know. And that's probably good. And then every oh. layer after, it's okay. It's all about getting, that's what the puppy pads are for. Paper towels. Did you tell them that she's never done it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. So how do you get it to stop? Okay. It's gonna drip a little bit. Part of this whole process is it gets messy. And that's probably good for that. And then just every layer about the same amount. Mm -hmm. You'll see when we pour it, all the colors come out together anyway. I'll see you over there. <laughs> Was that enough? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. You can't, you cannot make a mistake. Okay. Much, so. No, you're good. Because it's all gonna kind of churn together as it comes out, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, and as you're getting closer to the top, make smaller and smaller layers. Okay. Because as you're pouring it out, those thin layers will come out different colors, and then the thicker colors will come behind it, and it'll create like a the same kind of look. Okay. So small. Mm hmm Too small? That's too small. That's okay. You can put a little bit more. Perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. It was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks good to me. <laughs> but once you start pouring it, you'll see like how easy it really is. Very simple. <clears throat> and I'm going all the way up to the... Not all the way to the top, but like maybe halfway between where you are now and the top. And we're going to end up with excess paint because I'm feeling like we have a lot. Oh, that means you could create something else. Yeah. Oh, I definitely will use this paint for something else. That would be a lot of waste if I didn't use it. So, are you having fun yet? <laughs> I'm having loads of fun. I'm nervous. Is that, was that too much? No, no that was enough? good. It's okay. The white's a heavier color and it will sink through all the other colors too. Looks good to me. I gotta learn how to get it to stop coming out. Yeah. Look, you do it so easy. 
The paint does what it wants to do. Okay, so I'm still going, right? That's probably you know, a little bit more. Maybe one more layer of each color and then we'll be good. I just want to make sure we have enough. We don't have to make another layered cup. Now we could start the fun part. So you can set that just down. And then you can grab any of those three colors you want and we're just gonna be pouring puddles. And the puddles can be like about that big. And then the white too, even though we have- Yeah, white. we'll layer white over the other colors. This is just the base coat to help it slide out. Okay. So I'm pouring these onto the <clears> base coat. <throat> mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, just a puddle about- In the middle? Mm-hmm, right middle. That's pretty good. And you'll see these puddles as they push out the, the lines will get thinner and thinner and thinner until they look. It's a perfect look. circle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an eye. The same amount or less? About the same. Because okay. these lines, when they get out here, they'll be smaller than your pinky. Okay. They'll be really thin. And then now white. Yep, yeah, now white. All right. And now the fun part. The this? little straight pour part. This? Would you like me to show you once? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So I like to put my elbow on the table and kind of brace it a little bit. Like you're just letting it pour out very slowly. And see how I'm just trying to keep it all in the same spot? Mm -hmm. And it's making all those tiny little lines, all the colors are flowing out together. And then you'll make this puddle about the same size as all the other puddles were. You can't though. You see, I'm just pouring it. Mm -hmm. If you breathe, your hand shakes. And then see how I tilted it back and I'm letting it just drip as much as it's going to drip. And those are fine. Like, because this is going to roll under eventually, these drips. So now you can take, what was the last color you ended with, white? Yes. So now I take, green. now you'll take green again and just pour green another puddle. puddle right in the middle. It's going to push everything away. About the same size puddle as mm -hmm. before? Okay. I need to do this slow too? Like, no, no. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Gold. Yeah, that gold is really a really nice color. Really pretty. What brand is that? Golden. The brand Golden? Yeah, Golden. Um, iridescent gold fine. Good. Mm -hmm. And then the same way we did the cup as we get, it's okay. <laughs> the same way as we did the cup, it'd be the same way we did this. Remember how we, as we got closer to the end, we made smaller, smaller layers. Yes. It'll be the same thing. The closer we get to being done painting, you'll make these circles smaller and smaller okay. because they won't have as much room to push out and get thin. So now white. White, okay. So I'm making it, this one smaller? Or? A little bit smaller. Okay. You can see like that green already rolled under over here. And that's gonna happen unless I covered the entire canvas in base coat. And that would have just been way too much paint. 
So do you think you're ready to do the straight pour part? You can do it. Now, wherever you need to be to feel like, put your elbow on the table or. I do have really shaky hands. No, you can't. Yeah, you just pour it right on top of itself. There you go, perfect. Does that help? No. You made her laugh. And you can make it a little bit more paint. Like a bigger stream, I guess. Pour faster. Yeah. Try it. There oh, we go. Okay. But you're doing great. You're trying to tell me you never did this before. So there, how much more though? Keep uh, going? Yeah, I would keep going until it's about as big as that white one is now. Because see how small the other band got? Big sip and a right? sip and painting. Yep, that'd be cool. That's probably good right there. If you just slowly stop it, there you go. Over it. That's fine. Little drips here and there. <laughs> little drips. You can't mess up. Yeah, little drips here and there won't hurt it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of because see how we the green the yes. we lost it and now we're losing the gold line. That's just because the paint is going over the base coat and it's just rolling underneath. So I'll just put a little bit of white down. So it'll the give base it. Base coat or just the regular white paint is what you're. The doing. base coat and the this white that I mixed are the okay. same mix. Oh, okay. So I'm just giving it something to push over so it doesn't continue to roll. And it might still roll a little bit, but yeah. All right. I'm just moving it towards the center, just a little bit. I think we, as we've been pouring, I think we've been moving it moving a little bit this way. way, which is fine. So now we're ready for puddles again. Which puddle was the green, dark green? Yep. Green little white. And we're gonna Smaller. do, yeah, a little right. bit less this time. I have like two more revolutions of everything and that should be okay. enough. Yeah, that's probably good, yeah. See, you already stopped it. You don't need my help. Shoot. Smaller too? Uh, yeah, okay. it'll be about the same size as that white is now. I like how the golden colors are still staying like really defined. They're not churning, like mixing as much as the other colors do. Very good. Perfect. Look at you go. And then just another layer of yeah, green, gold, white. Tell me when. 
That's good. Very therapeutic, for me anyway. Well, because you're good at it. You're, look. Yeah. Maybe after a couple times. Yeah. I would be more comfortable. So, That's fine. Keep going. Mm -hmm. White. Now we're moving to the white. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then the mixed cup again, and we'll do, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna look nice. No, more? Yeah, we still need more. Oh, okay. So how do you know when you have enough? I've been doing it enough, like long enough, that I oh. kind of can tell when we have enough paint. And I know right now I'd have to stretch the heck out of it just to get it to the edges. So we just need more than that for sure. I don't want to stretch it too much because then it'll look wonky. Technical term. Yeah, great. So after you do that white, I'm going to put a little bit of thin white down and try to move it that way a little bit. Okay. Because it seems to want to like sit right here and I want it to push further this way. So I'm just going to put a little bit down and then like move it around my finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's water soluble. <laughs> so that's what you're doing is what it's going to help it move this way yeah because i'm going to tilt it and i want it to have something that it can slide over instead of see how we lost the green line again mm -hmm. i want to try to stop that from happening as much as i can yeah but i don't want to have so much white out here that the whole when i do stretch it out this is like a giant block of white so I'm trying to just do a little bit, just enough to kind of get it to move. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. I'll probably put resin on it for you too, because resin looks really nice. These That's are right. just They're really shiny, hard surface, yeah. It will, but it'll lose, it won't look wet anymore. Mm -hmm. Like this one's no resin, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's shiny. I think we have something in there. Yeah. See the little bump? It's like a goop of some kind. I don't know how they got in there, but it's out. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so now we can probably do more of the layered cup. And this will probably be getting close to the end because we do have a decent amount of paint right now. I'll get out of your way. You don't got to stand on your toes. No, I do to get in the middle. I okay, <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> I'm to you towards her. 
Yeah, I was gonna turn it this way so it's closer to you. My bad. Yeah, do one more of the gold, the green, and the white, and then we'll do one really small one of that okay. mixed cup, and that should be all we need. Okay. Green first, right? Yes, mm -hmm. green real quick. Yeah, I normally don't paint on big canvases like this. Done a few bigger ones, but they're normally smaller. I know. No, I think so. Yeah, yeah, fourteen by fourteen. They're on the Shopify store, by the way, if you want to check them out. <laughs> check them out. <laughs> okay. What? what? I was like, okay. <laughs> Now, when we stretch it, a question for you. You don't want it to look at perfect circles, right? No. Okay, so we'll disturb it before we stretch it. And only a little bit of this? Yeah, just a little bit. That's pretty good. All right, so you don't want those perfect circle lines, so we will make sure that doesn't happen. So I always take it and just kind of take it around in like a big circle because it'll start to distort the geometry of the lines. They start to stretch and pull at each other so that they're not perfectly straight anymore. I know, right? <laughs> In some of it, but that's okay. Do you want her for some money? No. It'll be fine. Why these colors? What do you want to do? Because on one of the accent walls, it's going to be like a very dark green, and then I'm going to do like the bedding is white with gold accents and oh, stuff. Nice. But that's probably what you said about how he's painting for some nights. Mm -hmm. My cousin from Italy is coming. Oh, her and her husband and they're staying at my house. All right. So now we're ready for the fun part, making the huge mess. Okay. It's not going to make a mess right now because the tape's in the way, but I'm going to let you spin it. So you just, not super I've, hard. Just this or the? No, you just take this and just, not hard though. <laughs> not super hard. Yeah, that'll work. Are you happy with the way these lines are, or do you want me to disturb them more? No, that's good. Okay. And all it's doing now, remember how small that puddle was? It's mm -hmm. just stretching it out, making it bigger. And we could probably even spin it a little bit. So we'll alternate. No. Oh. Oh. Watch out. We are losing some paint. A little bit. Well, it's gonna paint me, but that's fine. Okay, it really did. All right, so for now that's fine. Right? I wanna bring it that way. Cause all the weight of the paint's up there for whatever reason. 
be good with those lines doing that. Because right now, whenever they... Perfect. Mm -hmm. Like when they touched the edge, they anchored to the edge. So those colors won't want to move now. I think it'd be better if I take this off and just let the colors flow the way they want to. All right. All right. So now it's close enough to the edge. If we spin it decently, all the white will just push off. And then the colors will follow behind it. That one? Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's in this little one. Yeah. Too. It's just, it's just, it does what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You can never make something exactly. All right, so we'll hold this up. And... Do you need me to hold up the other side? No, the other side's out far enough to where it shouldn't matter. They might take a couple spins just to get the color all the way off to the outside edges. Mm -mm. Yeah, because the sides, mm -hmm. like, yeah, the like sides the blue one and the brown one and the purple one, yeah. This is part of the fun. <laughs> Does that middle part spread out? Yeah, it's still, it's continuing to spread. Okay. Do you want to put puddles into it or you want to put gold gold or something okay like... trying to not cover myself in paint but well that wouldn't have helped my forearm but yeah so if you want to take and put a puddle i'll hold this for you Ooh. just a little bit there yeah that's plenty okay because it'll continue to stretch too. All right. You start putting tablecloths down and turn them. Right? Decorate tablecloths. Sell that. <laughs> Has anything even gone off the table that way? Oh, wow. All right. There's not even left out of the table. Oh. Well, this would have definitely made it onto the carpet. You, yeah, because you like, we were in the center. All right, so all the white almost is all the way off. We can leave it just the way it is if you're happy with it this way. Or we can continue to push until all the white gets pushed off. All what white? The little corners oh. we dripped in. It's almost pushed all the way off. I can, it's gonna push all the paint further out. Mm. Let me see, I'm trying to grab a corner. I'll go the other way. Heck yeah. That's such a pretty gold. Jeez. I know. <laughs> I know. That might be as big as it gets. So I did I didn't really want like a perfect circle because nothing else is really perfect, but I mean it's fine. We distort it. I mean we could add paint to it so it distorts it. We just won't pour it in a puddle. Yeah. Cut it out. All right. So you have what shape do you want it? Just a just kind of like odd else. shape? Yeah, kind of like a little oval mm -hmm. shape. So.
Ish? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Another spin, baby? No. I wouldn't spin it again unless you want to. Do you like the middle like that? Yeah. Yeah. Like Are you happy with it? I'm good. Okay. Do you like the right now? Uh -huh. So we'll hold this up just for a second and I will try to push this so that the drips stay on the table. Yeah. We scrape the bottom and it stops the drips. So they, because if you let it continue to drip, it'll pull the surface off the side. One. And then you're just, obviously here it's going to be hard because there's a canvas in the way, but you're just taking it and just scraping. So it was really awesome to paint with Sella. And it was really interesting to see like somebody from the perspective that I had years ago when I first started painting and how cool it is when the idea you have in your head kind of comes to life. I love this one. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.